A men's basketball team is getting ready for its first game in the post-Chris Mack era. They got a tough one. The Cards host ninth-ranked Duke tomorrow afternoon, and Andrew Chernoff joins us now with how the coaching staff and the players have handled everything this past week. Andrew, how about it? Mike Pagese said today it has been a rough week, but everyone in the program knows they need to keep pushing forward. It's my responsibility to be here for these young men. And that's who I, I feel for the most because they've been through a lot. The good thing for interim head coach Mike Pagese, he served as acting head coach already this season, going 5-1 and one while he was in charge when Chris Mack was suspended for six games at the start of the year. We have a familiarity of, um, you know, playing under him and things like that. But um, his whole message is, you know, we're not going to uh, crawl to the finish line. We're going we're gonna to sprint through it. Yeah, I can literally say it's not my first rodeo. <laughs> Right? It's not. I haven't done it, you know, for years like the guy I'm going to be coaching against tomorrow. But at least I've done it before. Max suspension is something big man Malik Williams thinks may have impacted how the team has performed. I think that changed everything because we went through the summer listening to him. When we finally started playing games, you know, he, he had to be voiceless. And I think it did change our entire season. It's no secret the Cards have struggled in recent weeks, losing five of their last six games. It got to a point when Cardinal fans actually booed the team as players were walking off the court after losing to Notre Dame last weekend. I still feel like, you know, he was doing the best that he could, and, you know, coaching us. Um, I just think there was some frustration. I don't want to say I knew that he was going to, that this was going to happen. You know, I don't think I was expecting that. I don't think I saw that coming. The Chris Mack era may not have ultimately worked in Louisville, but Mike Pagese is hoping his friend is not done coaching. You don't go to Elite Eights and Sweet Sixteens and multiple NCAA tournaments without being a great coach. So I don't know when it'll be or if it would ever be, you know, uh, a thing again, him coaching on that sideline. But I certainly hope he does. As far as potential permanent head coaches going forward for Louisville, Auburn's Bruce Pearl has been floated out there on multiple lists. Well, tonight, Auburn AD Alan Green announced that Pearl and the school have agreed to a contract extension, so one should assume he's not coming to Louisville. I'm Andrew Chernoff, WLKY Sports.